Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to add and subtract radicals with variables in the expression. So let's do some examples. Um, the first equation that we're going to do, we're going to subtract um, radical x minus 3 radical x. So when we're subtracting radicals, we need to recognize that um, when we subtract them, that this radical has the number 1 in front of it. So this expression is the same as saying 1 minus 3 times radical x. Because when you do the power of multiplication, what you get is radical x times 1 minus 3 times the radical x, or the original expression. This is just an easier way to see how we can simplify it. So 1 minus 3 is going to equal negative 2 times the radical x. That's the answer. So let's do another equation where we'll add slightly more complicated radicals. Here we're going to do radical of y squared x plus the radical of x. So, in order to do this equation, the first thing we would want to do is to simplify um, our radicals. This radical right here has a squared um, variable in it, and therefore we can pull it out to make it more simple. We can turn this into, we're going to pull what, the y squared out. So it's going to turn into y radical x plus radical x. So this is the simplest version or the answer to the equation. Now if you wanted to convert it into something slightly different, you can also say that this is equal to, if you're going to pull the x outside of both of these, um, out of this equation, where you're going to take radical x out, and this is going to turn into y plus 1. And just recognize that when you multiply the radical of x times this equation, what you get is this right here. So either way, um, both of those answers are correct. And there you have it. That's how you add or subtract um, radicals with different variables in them. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.